Hi YouTube, I wanted to do a review on this KitchenAid uh, 2.0 quart kettle. We've had it for one and a half years and we use it pretty regularly, especially in the cold months and we've had zero problems with it. Um, it has a really cool C-shaped handle that is convenient. Um, it doesn't get hot at all. Um, and it also is made out of uh, stainless steel, but on the outside it has like a porcelain enamel in the yellow color, which they call um, citrus sunrise. Um, the inside is a dark coating on the stainless steel. And the lid comes off really easily. It just, um, just pulls right out and secures with these little uh, notches on the side. And the spout also is really easy to use. You just flip it right here with your thumb. I'll show you how it works um, in a minute. It has a whistle when it's ready. Not all tea kettles whistle, but this one does, which I like because sometimes I forget about it when I turn it on. Um, but overall, I like it a lot. It's really sleek. I like sitting it out. It's not something that I hide in my kitchen when I'm not using it because I think that it uh, looks really nice, um, especially against our stainless steel appliances and most things in our kitchen are white, so this really stands out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start it up and show you how it works. Okay, I put the kettle on the stove on high and you can hear it start to sizzle or boil. It's not starting to steam up at all yet, but the hotter it gets, it's going to start to whistle. There's a little hole in the lid. And that's when the, um, the steam pushes through that hole, that's what causes the whistle. See the steam is starting to come out. It takes a little while for the whistle to start because it wants to get up to a really rapid boil. I mean, the water is boiling right now, so you very well could pour your tea, but... And there it is. It's at maximum boiling, and you can see hear how loud the whistle is. It's not too loud, but it's loud enough that I can hear it uh, at, in any room in my house. So I'm going to pull it off the burner and show you how well it pours. Okay, I am going to turn off my burner. When I pick it up, like I said, the handle is not hot at all. And if you flip this with your thumb, one pro about this is that this spout does get hot, this um, this flipper. So as long as you don't rest your thumb on it and you just flip it quickly, it's no big deal. It doesn't do anything. But if you leave your thumb on there, it will burn you. So in my opinion, oh, my camera's getting foggy. See, it pours really well. My opinion is that this spout lid should have this black coating on it um, or something that would help just the tip of this not heat up because if you're not careful you can definitely burn your thumb but like I said it takes a second to flip it and then you can flip it down and it doesn't hurt me but you know if someone were to just hold their thumb on there it will burn. So overall I think that this is a really nice uh, tea kettle, my only complaint is that um, the lid on the spout gets too hot. It needs to have some kind of coating on it, but overall I like it. I think the handle works really well, the lid works well, I like the design, and it's 
2.0 quarts is a very large kettle that I think because you don't need that much tea. See I filled up this whole cup and I could easily pour uh, many more cups. So if you're going to have a party or multiple people over, this is a perfect size. You don't need anything bigger in my opinion. Um, so if you're looking for a kettle, I definitely recommend this one. Again, it's the KitchenAid 2.0 quart kettle. Thanks for watching. Bye.